So guys, we're out here in the Hunter Classic once again, and today we're here on Pikmin Bay to get our 100th Magpie Goose Harvest. So, I brought the 12 gauge Primal as our main weapon. I think this is going to be a somewhat short video. We need 17 uh, Magpie Geese Harvest to reach 100. I was planning on doing like 20 or 25. Uh, I went to look how many harvests I had, and I'm at 83 already just from uh, hunting them in general. So... We'll see if we can get a couple different weapons. I might switch shotguns at some point. Uh, though I like the I like the 12 gauge pumps because I got the the scope on it. You guys can probably see that a bit better, but we'll see. Uh, I also brought the 17 HMR and the 22 grasshopper for anything that escapes. And let's see if we can get some geese coming in. So we've got our first flock on the way in. They are flying directly over the decoys, so that would work out uh, if they will break. Let's switch to the flag. A lot of times for me, I end up switching back and forth between the flag and the long range color because it seems like. That switch seems to do something, because a lot of my breaks, I get them immediately after switching from one to the other. So we'll try that a few times, see if these guys will break. Apparently they're not really feeling it, because they've already gone over the decoys, but we'll give them a few more calls and flags. That one in the back left looked pretty decent, and they just broke, so... Actually, the one that I, that I mentioned actually broke, so... I'll try to notice if any of them are decent. We'll start short-range calling them, bring them this way. I can't tell that any look any bigger than the others. But let's see if we can get these guys. I turned my DPI up on my mouse, so hopefully I can aim better. That's two. That's three. And that is four. I don't think I'll get the others with a shotgun. Let's try the 17. See if we can get one or two of them. Ooh, I thought that was a good one. Alright, I'm losing my breath. We'll let them go. That is four down, so 13 more to go to 100. Looks like we got another small flock coming in. There are three in that one, and I actually reloaded my shotgun this time, so if they break, we can try to take all three of them out, and they have broken. Let's see what they do when they fly down, because if they keep going low like that, I think we can just short-range call here in a second. Yeah, they're going to turn. That's kind of what I wanted. So if we start short-range calling now, they should swing back our way and come perfectly in for us. And it looks like that's what they're going to do. I don't know where the third one went. Oh, there it is. Back behind the trees a little bit. Uh, this could get weird, but let's see. Ooh. Thought I had the other one the first time. Alright, that's probably been hit, but I don't know if I'll be able to get it with a 17, maybe. We'll try. Ooh, that had to be close. Not quite. Really should have had that one, but we now have six of our 17 down. We've got another pretty decent sized flock coming over kind of over the decoys, so I think they've got good potential to break. Actually, had two break off already. We'll do a little bit of flagging. Three broke off already. See if maybe we can get more, although with my shooting lately, I won't even get the three, so I should probably worry about uh, short range calling and just getting them over here. None of the other ones look too interested in breaking. Or did some break? I think they did. Yeah, four more broke. Six more broke. I can't count. Uh, alright. This is gonna probably be difficult, but... That was a decent one, I think, up to 3.5, and let's see what we can do with this. Wait, that one's not broken. I don't know which ones are broken. I'm very confused. Alright. Uh, just gonna go with the 17 and see if we can clip some of these. There we go. And I'm losing my breath. And shooting through trees. I kind of lost count. I don't know if we got two or three out of that. Uh, but regardless, somewhere in the area of ten more to go. Oh, there's a random goose flying over there. And getting ready to land. I don't know where that one came from. But if it'll land in the water, and where we can actually see it. Oh, it did the thing where they kind of go underwater, but I can see it barely. Let's see if we can hit it. We got it. Nice. We've got another flock of three coming directly over us here, so hopefully they'll give us a break. I think if I count it correctly, we have nine or ten down, so uh, either seven or eight to go. Let's switch the flag and see if they'll break, or they can just have two of them break. We'll do another flag or two, because we got to let those ones that broke go kind of far away so we can short-range call them and bring them around. But that one does not seem too interested in breaking, so let's short-range call. And we'll try to get these two. I don't know if we killed anything actually decent so far. I had my personal best earlier. Uh, I think it was 38, 34, something like that. 
A little bigger than my last personal best. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get the other one. Because this one's way ahead, but we'll take it. And where's the other one at? Oh, there it is. I think we can get it. There we go. And I don't think that other flock was close enough. I did hear them and I kind of saw them, but... Yeah, it sounds like they're pretty far off. But regardless, I think we are somewhere in the area of six to go. We've got a huge flock coming directly over us, so if we can get a decent sized break from these guys, there is potential to end it right here, because I switched to the 10 gauge, uh, just to switch it up a little bit. We've been using the 12 gauge for most of the video. Let's try a little bit of flag in here and see if that'll get their attention. Definitely not seeing any rares in there, but a couple that look a little bigger than the rest. They have gone completely silent. That is kind of weird. I don't know if that means anything, like if they won't break when they do that, because I don't think that I don't think that would be the case. Because uh, the first video I did on them, I had a silent flog break, so I'm not really sure what's the deal with that. But they do not want to break. That's kind of unfortunate. They went right over the blind. Oh, okay, we got one to break, two to break. Better than nothing, I guess. And we'll start short range calling right away because they could land really far when they when they break uh, from that range. But hopefully we can get them with a 10 gauge and then we should have like four more to go uh, until we are at 100 magpie geese harvests. Which is not too bad because I don't think they've, well, maybe by the time you're seeing this they've been out for a week, but I am pre-recording this. There's one. And there's two. I like this DPI way better for the open sight shotguns. I probably should have used this the whole time. We've got a pretty good size break from that flock. That is five of them, so if we do any kind of decent shooting, six of them actually... Uh, we should be done with this flock, but that's definitely not a guarantee the way I've been shooting lately. But let's see what we can do here. These two look a little bit bigger. I cannot get spun around. Tried to get a double on that one and completely missed. That was about a fail and a half. I think we got others. Do we? Maybe it's just the other ones flying away, but they are... Very well hidden behind these trees. That one looks kind of big, but can't really see. Just completely blind firing. Oh, we actually got the big one. <laughs> Not bad. Okay, I think we got three out of there, so I do believe we need one more. So as long as we get one or two from the next flock, we'll definitely top the 100. We've actually got two that just randomly broke. Like, again, that happened. I don't know what causes it. I'm going to try to get the dog in the blind. I don't know if he'll actually listen to that. Uh, since he's putting a goose down. Nope, too late now. They're pretty much here. And he's just gonna trot in place, but... Alright, that's that one, and... That's that one. So, that should put us over 17. I'll send the dog to get the rest, and we'll pick everything up. I'll show anything over, like, I don't know, 32, 3300. Depends on what we have. So, the dog is coming over with the last one that we didn't take long range with the 17. I think we'll get a trophy shot. Of the ones we got here, this one and this one look pretty good size, so if I can manage to actually claim one of them and hopefully have a nice size goose for the trophy shot, I'm just backing up until I can't uh, claim anymore. Alright. That's not too bad. 3168, we'll take the trophy shot with that one just so we have uh, a bunch of the geese in the picture. Not looking too bad other than the one that's freaking out over there uh, on the left, but yeah, as I said, I'll just show anything. Let's go with over uh, 3300 just so they're only decent ones. Uh, and then I'll probably show... Uh, whatever one is the 100th. And of course the first one I pick up after I take the trophy shot is a pretty good one, 35.27 on that one. And another quite nice one, 35.91, I do believe that's our best so far. And we've got yet another one over 3,500, 35.80 for this one. And another 3,500 plus, 35.11 for this one. We got a lot of pretty solid geese, I hope uh, one of them is going to top 3,800. And we've got another break, so we might as well try to take some out. I do see a pretty big one in there, like the middle-ish one in the front. Can Mr. Dog sit still for a second? I want to try to get that bigger one. It's the one that's gliding right now. I'm not really worried about the others, but that one seems to be a lot bigger. It's this one right here. Got him. And why not take maybe all four if I didn't miss? I swear that should have hit. It's just a female, but oh, lost my breath there. I am getting so close. Alright, whatever. We got three of them. One of these two was the one that I thought looked really good. 
probably this one, 3931. That is my personal best. I would love it if this ended up being the 100th one because I've lost count. It's going to be very close. Let's go into trophy shot mode and see. Uh, not quite. It's probably like my 99th, but definitely worth a trophy shot. That's a really good one. That one is definitely going to the lodge. That is my personal best ever. And actually my first one over 3900, so I'm going to mount that. And unfortunately, we were one off from that big one being our 100th. This is just a female uh, that I grabbed. I think we're not even going to take a trophy shot. We just took a trophy shot uh, of the nice one that we had. And I think we shot another solid male. Plus, we've got, I think, still the, the one that I thought looked big that I shot with the 17 HMR should still be out there. But yeah, this was the other one that I thought was decent at 3518. We might end up doing a little more goose hunting. I'm going to see if the dog will go out and grab the one I got with the 17. It looks like he is going to do that because there was actually one on both sides. But let's hurry up, get in the blind, and maybe these other ones will break. And it looks like we did get a few to break. I don't know how far away the dog is or if they're going to sense him. Uh, but we might as well try to take them out. Actually, we got three to break, it looks like. That's not too bad. A lot of bonus skills we're going to end up with, I think. All right, they are coming straight in. And I've only got one bullet loaded. Got a hit with that one, though. That had to be so close, but unfortunately, I did not load my shotgun, because, of course, I was pretty much done with the hunt. Got that one with the 17, and is that the other goose? Shouldn't be. I don't know where that one came from. Even my 17 uh, is not really loaded. I tried to hit that one a few more times, but I'm guessing that one has escaped us. But it does sound like our dog is back. And I think it got uh, the one we shot off the water. So let's see if that was decent. It actually was a 3618, but we hit it twice, so... And the wound time was only 12 seconds. Maybe this was the big one I shot with the 17, he just came in from the other side, but regardless, another really nice goose. I don't even know which goose this is, but the dog just brought it... Uh, it had to be one we shot with the 17. It was 99 meters away. Actually hit in the neck. That is not bad. 2047 score on that one. And I do believe this one over here is the last one uh, that we have. It was the one that we shot off the water that was sitting. So the one that the dog brought back earlier uh, actually was the one we dropped out of the air. Kind of like through the trees. So that was a good one. It was 3600. Uh, I thought it looked pretty nice. But that's pretty much the way if, you, uh, if you're new to the game and don't know this and you're hunting any of the bird species actually... Uh, but specifically the Canada geese and magpie geese. If they look bigger than the other ones, they are probably high scoring. Uh, either that or all the other ones are low scoring and they're just decent. But that was the way I had the 3900. He just looked bigger uh, and we took him out. And fortunately, he was my personal best. Wait. Oh, another one just called. I thought I was... Hmm. That's like right on top of the tent. Did they land in the decoys or are they actually on land? I don't have camping supplies to fast travel back there and just pretty much get right on top of them, but just take a look and see if we can spot them. The thing is, I'm so low tracking these guys, it's probably not right on the tent, it's somewhere uh, in the area, but here is this one, it definitely does not look like anything special. And it is not, it's just a 1953, and I just realized I should have noticed earlier uh, with the 3600, it would not have had the G because uh, we shot it out of the air, so obviously that was the case and i think we're gonna go back to the lodge and take a look at the biggest one we just shot there uh and wrap it up so here he is in the lodge by the way did they add uh this laying down pose because i don't remember seeing that when they first came out but we'll put him back in the flying pose that's my favorite and i'm really glad uh he's the orange colored one as well i like those ones uh for whatever reason but that was really lucky the way he came over we had already killed our 100th he just happened to come over while uh, the dog was retrieving them all, and he is now in the lodge. A very nice goose, 3931. But with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.